Friend. Yeah, my little baddie friend. Yeah. Your little what? My friend from the sandbox days. I've been doing her though. It's actually gonna be fun because I ain't seen her in mad long. Your baddie friend from the sandbox days? <laughs> yeah, actually, I'm pretty sure y'all will get along. I'm not gonna lie. Why do you have to bring her though? You think I'm gonna just be sitting there? Oh, he's kissing you, licking Who's, you. He's not kissing me, bro. Touching you. You he's think I'm just be, me, kissing You think I'm gonna like... just be sitting there? Nah, you both. I ain't gonna lie. Who is this friend of yours? Bro, it's just a friend I've been had. Well, why is this the first time I hear about her? Because it's just a friend I've been had. What the heck? Not I've random. known him from the sandbox days too. Yeah, get out of here, bro. Y'all 12 days old. If we knew each other when we were little, we would have been friends since the sandbox too yeah but we done it though so okay but that's your fault how is it my fault i don't know but it is wait a minute something ain't right yeah, there's some sort of double standard here because she thinks that she could have friends while he can't. Now, James Harden's reaction in this next one is just unforgettable. <laughs> Tell me more, why does he want you to pay for the bill? And I really didn't have the appetite for anything. He forced me to come to the restaurant. So now I'm here, I ordered six different dishes. Come again, please tell us what you ordered while on this day. And I got jerk chicken, this one meal. I, I started, um, and not the Rasta pasta. This is ridiculous. Who orders six different things from the menu? And I got me some oxtail too, but I also want me a fried snapper. And this like the pineapple bowl. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. If you want him to pay for six different dishes, how about you eat all six of them right in front of him so he can prove that you're not trying to feed your whole family? And that's his drink. That's my drink. I ain't really like that drink. And he got the two liquors. But yeah, I can eat. Oh, I forgot to show y'all. I had got um, some fried green tomatoes and... So you turned a restaurant date into a buffet date? Even if she somehow had the magical ability to eat all of those six dishes, it still isn't the most polite thing to do. Now this next guy caught his girlfriend red-handed talking to so many different dudes on Snapchat. Nah. Nah, holy. Give me my phone. Nah, I knew your ass was. I knew your ass was trifling. Look at all these dudes. Look at all these. Get off me. Give me my phone. Get the off me. Nah. Give me my phone right now. Nah, this Give proves it. And Corey, Tyler, who the f are these dudes? Who the f are these dudes? Who the f are a problem. You're a real, real problem. How much should a wedding ring cost? Ten grand. Thirty thousand. Thirty thousand. Ten grand. Jeez. Ten grand. Ten. Grand. What you gotta say? To, what you gotta say to ten grand? Thirty thousand. I'm sticking to my ten grand. What? Is, okay. What is this ten grand? How are you feeling? Uh, I mean, I, I'm gonna say no. I'm, I asked to be thirty thousand. You gonna say no? It has to be thirty thousand. I know what he makes, so I know what I know what ring I want. All right, thirty thousand, thirty thousand, thirty thousand. Oh, there you got it, folks. Thirty thousand, just like that. What? Even if he had the money to easily spend the thirty thousand on that ring, he might just value spending his money other ways. Now this next retired guy is living a rather enviable lifestyle. For living. Well, I'm retired. I play a lot of golf. And I just recently celebrated my 49th wedding anniversary. Wow. That's pretty good, man. That's not easy. You got to feel respect, take her on great trips. For our 25th, I took her to China. And next year, I'm going to go pick her up. Nice. Would you rather be with a broke man that loves you so much or with a anything apart from that? Or with a billionaire that provides for you but doesn't love you and cheats on you? Yeah. Like, I didn't even have to think about it. Like, obviously the billionaire. Love goes out the window, mate, when there's no food on the table. I mean, are we talking about broke? Like, absolutely broke. broke. Like, no. What am I going to do with that love? I can't eat that love. <laughs> Someone's love wants to fly first class. That's a famous quote from Love is Blind. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to do? That broke man would probably not be so in love with you if he was billionaire. Yeah, because you never know how people change when they've got loads of money. Wait. Yeah, it's seeming like the more traditional relationships are becoming transactional, which does in fact skew the market in favor of the highly successful. Now, the guy that Emily King is describing in this next one just stood on business. 
Have you guys seen the TikTok of the woman whose husband canceled their honeymoon after one day because he found out that she sent a goodbye text to her ex on the morning of their wedding? Of course, her new husband would have a problem with this, but she just doesn't get it. She actually justified it by saying that she needed to say goodbye to have closure. But why did you wait for the day of your wedding? Look, for anyone in a relationship, let alone engaged, your partner never wants to feel like he's second choice. As if you're with him because your first choice didn't want it, or it's just that your first choice didn't want to shape up and be the man that you wanted him to be. And the whole closure thing is just a silly excuse because you can get closure without reaching out to someone. Big Edie, right? It's facts! It's facts! It's in our facts! These sites is in our facts! It's in our facts! Oh, it's facts! It's facts! It's facts. I put makeup on just for this date, so it better go well. And I'm not posting this, probably, if it doesn't. It did not go well. Truthfully, it lasted less than two minutes. I walked up, he gave me a hug and said, are you hungry? Let's go inside. We went inside. He said, actually, can you step outside for a minute? I stepped back outside and he said, I'm not trying to offend you, but I'm just not feeling it. So I walked to my car, came back home. The date didn't go well, yet she still decided to post the video, which might just suggest a need for some external validation. Now, I'm sure a number of us would not want to be laying in this bed, let alone with somebody. She said, come over, spend a night, free. Whoa. It's like you sleeping with more than one partner. I'm straight on that. Oh my God. Look, at what? how do your bed get like this? All these bed bugs. Somebody was sleeping in this bed, for real. Ain't no- Oh! Ew! Dude! What the- Ice and beer. He was playing with fire there, which was a situation that could have gotten a lot worse. Now this next guy was unhappy because his girlfriend didn't give him anything on National Boyfriend Day. It's October 3rd, National Boyfriend Day, 4.20 a.m. I just got off a 10 hour shift, y'all. A 10 hour shift. I get home to nothing. Not even a cute basket nothing? or anything. What do you mean nothing? I made you noodles, Kevin. That is literally noodles like noodles is something like bro i can make that myself three minutes in the microwave I don't care. Bro. at least i at least i thought you, you made something noodles for you at but least no you hold on ate, let me talk you? okay let me talk if you didn't like, but 50 when, cent little when noodles we went to san antonio it's National Boyfriend Day. I ain't seen one TikTok. I ain't seen one basket. I ain't seen one gift. I ain't seen no day in the life of what I'm doing for my boyfriend for National Boyfriend's Day. I ain't seen a damn thing. I will be honest, out of the people I follow on IG, I seen three people post a boyfriend for National Boyfriend Day. So what's the excuse? You're a problem. You're a real, real Problem. Yeah, there's got to be some sort of correlation between a girlfriend showing appreciation and her getting it back. Now, this next so-called advice on how a guy spends fifteen thousand dollars is rather toxic. If a guy says fifteen thousand dollars on an engagement is a waste of money, but he's willing to spend it on a car, you know who he values more: the car or you. There you have your answer. My disappointment is immeasurable. Baby, don't have to dream like this, you know. I do. Come on, sit down. Thank you, babe. Sorry. Thank you. Babe, why don't you just sit down, though? No, the juice as well. Oh, my God! Wow! Like, um, recently, I matched with a doctor on a date night, and I was just like, you know... I said, well, you know, what do you do? He's like, I'm a doctor. And he was just like, I said, like, okay, so what's your goals? He, and he was just like, oh, no, I kind of blocked you because, like, what do you mean what's, what's my goals? Is a doctor not enough? 
I don't want somebody who's content with where they are. A doctor is being, being a doctor is amazing. I understand what you guys go through to get there, but why can't you want more? I guess me having three jobs shows you that I'm never comfortable with being in one place. Uh, not being a doctor. He, he need to run for the president. He's already a surgeon. And that ain't enough for you. Uh, it's not it's not a money thing more so i guess it's an ambition thing seems like she wants him to be a doctor in the morning superman in the afternoon and batman at night which does sound exhausting i really hope you enjoyed these ones today and don't forget to like subscribe and check out the video right above me